It's almost time for Flight Simulator 2024 on the 19th of November, it's finally there. In this video, we're going to look at how to change the community folder as well as a look at the file structure based on the alpha version of Flight Simulator. Let's roll the intro and then let's go into the details. So... One of the things which likely everybody has when playing Flight Simulator on the PC at least is the community folder. That community folder can contain a lot of content. And with the launch of Flight Simulator 2024, you might ask, hey, what can I do with that content which is in the Flight Simulator 2020 folder? Well, there are some good news and there's some bad news. First start with the good news. So everything which you purchase outside of the uh, simulator will be stored in the community folder currently in Flight Simulator 2020, which means that you can copy that content to the new Flight Simulator 2024 folder. So it's a separate folder. So that's the good news. The bad news, of course, is that it will take you a lot of more disk space. So keep that in mind. But hey, better than nothing, right? The other advantage of this one is that we know that the marketplace releases, at least the new stuff, will also be delayed due to some issues which they had. Uh, especially, I would say, about some concerns from the developers which want to gr make great content. And due to a lot of changes in Flight Simulator 2024, we're kind of hesitated to deliver it directly at the start of Flight Simulator 2024. So let's keep our fingers crossed. But how do you change that community folder, right? Because you might know that by default it will be stored in a default folder. So let's go to the Explorer and have a look. So in the Explorer, right, you can see that I'm currently in a different folder. You can go to the App Data folder. So let me uh, zoom into this. Here we go. You can go to uh, Local App Data. And then go to the packages folder because all the content is stored in the packages folder for a lot of other stuff. You can see Clipjump, you can see several other tools which I have. If we scroll down, we will find Flight Simulator it also. And then when you scroll down, you will find Microsoft.limitless. You might think, Limitless? Are you serious? Is this the Flight Simulator folder? Yes, it is. So based on the alpha testing, which is here, it's limitless beta. I was able to figure out how that file structure will look like because this is the, I would say, pre-created content, which is created, I would say, as part of the preload of Flight Simulator 2024. And if you go into those folders, you won't see much. It only created the directory structure, nothing more, right? So kind of useless. Now, if I go to that limitless beta directory, I would see a little bit more, right? If I go to the local state folder, I can see some data. If I go to the local cache folder, I can also see some data. And for those who are familiar with modifying that configuration file, and at least modifying the community folder, they will recognize this user cfg.opt file. So this is the file where you can change where the packages are stored in Flight Simulator 2024. If you don't do it, they will be stored by default in this folder, in the packages where you see both the community, but also the official and then the one store folder. Not a lot of content in this one. Also in the community one, it's of course completely empty. So what you need to do is you need to open this one with, for example, Notepad. So simply right click on it, then select Notepad, then it will bring you to this view. And then you scroll to the bottom of this file where you will find, in this case, the location of the packages. This one can be changed. So, for example, I can change this to C uh, MSFS uh, 2024. And then I could save the file and then it will be, let's say, saved, right? So that's the only thing which you need to do. Prior to doing this, make sure that you create the file on the file system. So simply go to Explorer and make sure that the files are created there, right? Just, I would say, to be sure that nothing goes wrong. Once you've made the change, you can start Flight Simulator. It will prompt you and then will likely say that you need to, let's say, kind of download some packages. 
That's unfortunately something I can't show you currently, but I can explain you what to do to prevent that it redownloads everything, because that's of course not something which you want to do. So how to do that? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this window, right? We're gonna close the user uh, config files and the some other files. And then you will see the package folder, which contains the community folder as well as the official one. Now, what you need to do to create the folder is you go to your I'd say, C drive in this case, and here you see my MSFS folder. So the only thing which you need to do is in this case, create a new folder. Let's do that. New folder MSFS 2024. Hit enter. And then once I would say flight simulator uh, prompts you to uh, say start right where you want to store the results or store the packages, you can select this folder. However, what you could do if you already would say download some pre content, which I don't think it's possible, but just would say to be sure, is create these folders also. So, what you can do is you can create the community folder and the official folder. So, let's go back and let's do that. So I'm going to create a new uh, folder called uh, community. And then do the same thing for official. And the official one contains the one store directory, if I'm 100% correct. Let me double check. Yeah, one store where all the stuff is in. So let's go back to 2024 official new folder one store and then you should be good to go right so you've got the directory structure i would say officially you're not uh supposed or officially well, not wouldn't call it officially but you shouldn't be required to create these folder the community folder is the most important one uh keep in mind that you will need to copy over the content from the uh, flight simulator 2020 folder which is this one and then select one or more packages and then move them over to the new folder. So for example, if I go to my own list, right, I might decide to move the PMDG files to that new location. I simply select the file, copy it, and then eventually paste it inside this community folder. And then I should be able to use it. Prior to doing that, make sure that you validate with the vendor in case it's a third party developed uh, content that's supported for Flight Simulator 2024. If it's one from, for example, Flight Simulator 2, which is the community add ons, then also make sure that they are saying that it's Flight Simulator 2024 supported. If that's not the case, you might experience issues, so be aware of that. So, enough about that community pool, right? Let's dive into some other stuff which I figured out based on the directory structure. So I'm going to go to my C drive and I go to my Xbox games and there I will find the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 beta, which is still left. Although I say you can't start it anymore based on my testing, uh, unless let's say somebody's found a trick and that's where you find the content folder. And the content folder looks like this, right? There are some fonts as it looks like, there's some configuration files and in the configuration files, Let's say there's I'd say some stuff, right? About, okay, hey, it's uh, about the Microsoft uh, Limitless Beta. Then also some, uh, looks like some certificate. Then some executables are there. Then, then some store IDs, title IDs, the uh, Microsoft application ID to identify the application. And if we go down, we will find more information such as the language, but also some things about, okay, hey, what are the logos which are used? the splash screen, which is there, and then some dependencies, right? So dependencies, uh, VC, uh, which stands for uh, Visual C, if I'm correct, uh, number 14. Uh, then we see the MSA full trust is true and requires Xbox Live because it needs, I would say, the Xbox Live connection. And also there's some persistent uh, local storage, right? So 16 uh, gigabyte uh, by default. And there's a global to 97 gigabyte. It looks like that this has to do with caching. And there are some capabilities, the internet client, the broad file system access and the run full trust, right? So these, are, these are the capabilities which are part of this, I would say a nice configuration file. There's nothing which you shouldn't change here because it will likely break. So leave it as is. 
And that's where you also find a lot of, let's say, other things, right? It's the game launcher, it's the stop.win32, which was referenced to in the file. You can see the fonts over here, and then we get a lot of other directories. One of them is the assets directory, the asset directory. If you like to have a nice background, you can already, let's say, use this one as a background, right? So let me zoom out. Then you can use this one as the background for flight simulator uh, or for your machine. Uh, it's based on the uh, alpha testing. This was the background, right? So pretty cool. Besides that, there are some other things like the navigation uh, background, uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator main message, although you can't open those files. Not sure what kind of file type they are. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, details. Those are DDS images. So not something I've got on machine, so I can't open them. And then, of course, you've got some logo files, right? So some logo files for Flight Simulator. So pretty nice. So that's the assets file. Then we've got the cache file. Cache file was empty for me, but maybe it's populated for you. And then you've got the packages file. And the packages file is pretty interesting, right? Because the packages file contains a lot of things. First of all, there are all the activities, such as, I would say, the familiarization, the ferry flight, the firefighting. Uh, those are sometimes only placeholders, because if you click on them, you will see a lot of directories, but they're empty, right? And do think that this was expected because there were literally no activities in the uh, alpha release uh, of Flight Simulator 2024. Then there are several other things like the cabin services, the cameras, but also the certification, right? So the certification, we've got the common folder, which likely contains some common, I would say, uh, certifications which are there, right? So if you would click on it, also still empty. Uh, and if I go to the one level back to the uh, PPL, you will see that there are more things. So this one was playable. It contained at least the content info, but also several missions. Uh, but those folders are again, not containing anything anymore. If we scroll down, we will also find the challenges which are stored here as well as some discovery flights, the environmental cameras, uh, the facial animations, the flight tutorials, and then some free flights, then the input profiles for the PC. So these are likely, I would say, the profiles for the joysticks, right? You can see in this case, the T1600 mic. That was one of the uh, joysticks which was available. There was the input profile. Uh, and likely using, I would say, when the official release is there, there will be more uh, of these, uh, Let's say profiles. Then we've got the interactions preset. Not too many items in there, right? So a lot of empty directories, but that was, I would say, kind of expected in that alpha release. Uh, some mission templates, live events, landing challenges, uh, where you can see that the structures is there, but there was no content. Likely this will change, uh, or at least I assume this will change uh, once the official release is there, which is again on the 19th of November. And we're doing a live stream about that, so don't forget to tune in to my channel. Then we've got several other picks like the uh, scenario, scenarios, should likely services, then some templates, the travel book, and some V cockpits for the A320, the Boeing 747, the CG4, the F18, the generic one, uh, the Wasm, and then scrolling down, we will find packages with different, let's say, names, right? For example, we see the BFP. GG, not sure what it stands for, also empty, so I can't say what is normally in it or what should be in it. And then we get all those base packages, which we normally know, right? Those base packages are containing the base information which you need. So for example, the achievements, really focus to the achievements. Then we've got the aircrafts, the AI traffic, the electronic flight back has a lot of things. The effects has some things. Then the in-game panels, like the cameras, the discovery object, the EFB, the flight assistant, the view, the meter, the nav log, all those in-game panels are listed here. And if we scroll down further, we will find eventually the marketplace interfaces, the navigation, the onboarding, multiple seasons, then a lot of sounds, the SPB, and then a lot of UIs, right? The user interfaces, as well as some base videos, uh, the careers, the dev modes, again, the input, input profiles, and the input profiles look like to exist multiple times. So in this case, the X input for the gamepad, which was the uh, Xbox gamepad, which was there uh, and working. 
And then last but not least, I would say the working title ones. The in-game uh, panels, the VFR map developed by working title, as well as the G3, G3X Touch uh, V2 and the G1000 uh, V2. So those are in that packages folder. So a lot of interesting information, a lot of folders, but as you could see, they currently are empty. But again, once it has launched, we will do another video about this and you will likely find more information what's in those uh, files. In the other two files, right, the remaining two, the prop devs and the Resk Inc., you can't find anything useful. Uh, unfortunately, uh, hard to say what it is. Also, on the internet, you can't find a lot of description about what should be in these folders. Uh, but the packages one is the most important one based on my observations on this file. So, here ends this video. So, in the start of the video, we looked at the community folder, right? How to change it, uh, how to create it. But also, what's, I would say, where can you find that config file, right? Because that was, in some cases, a little bit hard. Keep in mind that the uh, eventual, I would say, likely a file uh, which will be there eventually uh, might be stored in a different directory. And again, I'm going to show you one more time uh, which directory that is. And based on my understanding, and based on my observations, that will likely be this folder, the Microsoft.limitless and underscore eight and then the uh, digit number, which is now not containing a lot of things, even not the user config file. Uh, also, don't pre-create it. Let's sim simply, you would say, do flight simulator, do it stuff the first time, and then make the changes afterwards. Uh, and that will likely be the folder which will be used by Flight Simulator 2024. So again, community add-ons will be there, but you need to move them over, copy them, which means that you're using twice this space, which is a little bit disappointed, but hey, that's what it is. And here ends this video. Now for real. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then I hope you will join my live session because I'm going to discuss more of these kind of things in the live session. The live session or the live stream will start at 5 o'clock. CET on the 19th of November. Yes, the time Flight Simulator 2024 will be available. If you do not decide to join, right, but decide to play Flight Simulator yourself, that's of course also fine. Keep in mind that I also will post or post a lot of video recordings about Flight Simulator 2024, about the things which I discovered, my experience about the first hours of uh, Flight Simulator 2024, and also a lot of other things. So if you miss it, then consider to revisit my channel and watch those videos. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And in the meantime, have fun with Flight Simulator 2020. And I hope that Flight Simulator 2024 will be a large success when it's launching on the 19th of November.